This video is about Delta 8 in Alabama. A lot of you watching this may be going, so what, it's legal. Not so fast. It's maybe kind of sort of legal. You should be going, it's legal. what the, what are you talking about? What do you mean it's kind of sort of? Let me explain. Delta 8 can be either legal or illegal depending on how it's made. So Delta 8 is legal if it is derived from hemp not marijuana, and it has less than 0.3% of tetrahydrocannabinoid. So Delta-8 derived from marijuana, as opposed to hemp, is not legal. And if that wasn't confusing enough for you, if the Delta-8 has more than 3% of THC, it's an illegal controlled substance under Alabama law that you, in theory, could wind up going to prison for. So this is all very confusing, and I know it's confusing, and Alabama needs to get its act together, but I've seen several cases where people are arrested for possessing Delta-8. Since under our laws, a person has to be proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of knowing possession of a illegal substance, it seems that first the state of Alabama would need to submit any suspected Delta-8 to a lab for toxicological analysis to determine what the chemical composition, what the percentage of the THC is, and even if it comes back as, hey, it is illegal Delta-8, how do you prove that the person who was in possession of it knew that it was the illegal versus the legal kind? How do you get beyond a reasonable doubt? I don't know. It's a developing issue of the law. I haven't had one that's gone to trial yet, so we'll see. If you find yourself in a legal jam, especially here in North Alabama where I practice, and you want our help here at Siegel & Siegel, just give us a call. Our phone number is below. I hope you found this video to be educational and informative. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to be nice to us, give us the old thumbs up on the YouTube thing, and if you want to see more of these videos as they come up, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.